So in reviewing my 2021 250SX, obviously I've added some things that are required around here. The spark arrestor, which I've got on all the bikes, so that's the same. I had the shark fan, I've got tubeless on them. I'm riding the IRC VE33S Gakota right now. Gonna try the new, is it the JX8 I believe, coming up here when this wears out, but this has got 180 miles on it and it hasn't even started to wear. I'm a big Ibex fan and um, I, might, I still have one in the garage and depending on how the JX8 does, I probably will maybe use that again. But if the JX8 lasts as long as this and gives as good or better traction in the rocks, then it's a keeper. The one thing this bike has is I got the Twisted Engineering Flex Bars. Well, they're not Flex Bars, but the composition Composite Bars. I added the Trail Tech Endurance 2, which over my Husky, which is down here, I hard to see the stock one. I love that this is mounted up top. Again, it's a quick bolt-on. You run the cable down, everything is there in the SX to put in the magnet and the uh, screw-in tip detector. I've got the um, Shinko Fatty Cheater 216MX in the front. It's the most phenomenal front tire I've ridden yet. 180 miles and it doesn't seem like it's wearing out. I love that. It just It's like Velcro. If this thing doesn't get chewed up in the rocks in the drier part of the year, I'll run that forever in the front. Also had to add an IMS tank, three gallon versus a stock two gallon tank. Uh, I've probably get, well, in the summertime, about 90 miles on a tank full with the smart carb there. Again, it was about $70 on sale, more than what I would have paid for the Electron, but I can use a stock cable and it's nice to adjust on the fly. I did set it up a bit too rich initially back in December. First ride away from home, I almost fouled a plug because I had it like four clicks rich after looking at the plug and calling the guys at uh, Technology Elevated. I got it worked out. I'm probably about three or four clicks leaner right now. Um, it's phenomenal. It is crisp and right on. I can't I'd have a hard time believing that a TPI runs any better. Now, I will say, initially I was disappointed. Uh, the gearing, I knew first gear is going to be a bit taller in this bike. And I come to find out that that was indeed the case. 1449 stock gearing. I had a 51 tooth on my Husky. I swapped the wheels one time and I found it was great. It definitely cleaned it up and made it manageable. Um, but again, being the SX, it still revved really quick and, and, and was a little bit too much at times on the trail. So at that point, I opted to get the Steely 9 ounce flywheel weight. I think they have a 9 and 11. I wanted the lighter one because I didn't want to totally take away from the power of the 250 SX. And once I did that, that was it. I'm done bike is Nirvana. It has way more power than my Husky. It's about 20 pounds lighter. Again, about a, probably about 10 pounds lighter than the equivalent TPI. It is fun, but manageable. I did decide to add the Kreft tool to change the power valve setting. Uh, I played with it a little bit. I got it where I want for this type of riding, these trails. But when I go oh, open desert stuff down in Bend, Oregon, I'll probably uh, opt for a little bit more hit and more fun. Uh, but it it lugs down low. That was the other thing that was missing the lugability compared to my Husky Once I put the flywheel weight on this thing chugs down So low it's incredible uh, I am a total fan of the 21 version of the air fork This bike allows me to ride way faster than I can on any of my other bikes and with more confidence I have not wiped out on it yet and this time of year. I know it's dry today, but the last three months have been really wet and I don't like wet conditions. I, you know, it's kind of sketchy and I tend to, you know, slow up in, a bit, but uh, with these uh, wet conditions, I was riding like it was summertime and now that it's drying up, it's just incredible. The bike is so much fun. It can wheelie when you want, but not out of control. 
it uh it's amazing and we'll go do some more riding